running out of time. time. <laughs> Madden, we say it all the time, it's such a short game. You can't turn the ball over. And yes, if you're at home, yes, he's going for it from his own 29. RG3 with a pocket collapsing, and down he goes at the 20-yard line. So a great first effort here from Pavin. Guys, what is up? I currently have a Hot Round Master Bunch ebook that helped me get to the final four of the Madden Bowl up for sale now. It dropped about two weeks ago and so far has really good viewership and really good praise. Go check it out. The link will be in the bio. Let me know what you guys think, think and feel free to ask any and all types of questions. Thank you very much. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Pavin. And we're back again with another YouTube video. And in this YouTube video slash YouTube series, I'm going to be breaking down tips from inside my mind and in just in general, um, common tips known kind of throughout the Madden community that really haven't been posted to YouTube or are not common knowledge for a lot of players. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down uh, one of the one of my favorite blitzes I like to do. And, you know, it's been a term used in uh, years before. It's called a bleacher blitz. So this is tip Tuesday number one. Um, and I plan on making these tips every Tuesday for the rest of Madden 20. So, you know, y'all keep me push, pushing for these videos and I'll, I'll definitely give some next level tips. And, you know, it doesn't even have to be about the Madden game itself. It could be just thought processes and, you know, anything to elevate your game in any aspect. So basically this is the first tip Tuesday. And, you know, if you show continuous love, continuous four, I definitely got you going into Madden 21 itself. So, you know, this is a goal for myself to stay consistent and, you know, upload these tip Tuesdays for the rest of the year, regardless if I do well or not. That's what I'm just planning on doing. And, you know, if I get great feedback, I definitely got you guys in Madden 21. But enough with the chit chat. Let's get into the video right now. So basically, I ran, I run this out of my 146 shell. Uh, my 146 defense and it's, it's something I've ran all year long but you know as of late it has been getting popular because Henry honestly he found this so shout out my dude Henry you all we all know how good he is as the game pauses for some reason um, so let's just get right into the video I'm gonna pick wide receiver post and this really should work versus all types of uh, offenses out of shotgun obviously um, but it really does work really good versus bunch and uh I'm on the wrong side of the ball, so I'm just going to throw the ball away for here for right now. So what you want to do is you want to set up 146 the normal way. So cover two sync is what I like to do out of uh, what I like to adjust out of a lot. So, you know, I say run cover two sync as a computer quick hike speed and he gets all day. Good dot Tyreek Hill. Oh, that's Nicole Hartman. Um, but let me make my adjustments and, uh, you know, get, talk while I make my adjustment. So you want to press, make sure when you do press, this guy is clicked in right here. Because if you press, sometimes he'll be all the way out here. Make sure he is uh, behind this outside linebacker. You want to pick this guy up. So basically, with the left stick, you kind of want to nudge him. And then just click off someone else and he'll run backwards. You want to blitz this corner right here. You can move him in if you want, just to put him on a better contain angle. I preferably just, you know, blitz him and leave him there. If I do have time, I will move him in. And you want to blitz all linebackers. So right on the D-pad right here, right on the D-pad. And it'll say blitz all linebackers. You want to blitz them all. And then last but not least, you want to contain if you haven't already. And then after that, you see this corner right here? You want to blitz them. I know it may be a little risky, but it's something people haven't seen a lot. Especially versus this bunch. Especially versus any type of uh, defense offense that, you know, has a kind of compressed, cover uh, compressed set. So... You know, I'll blitz that guy. And the normal setup is to just, you know, stay like this and blitz uh, blitz these six people, these two linebackers, two corners, and three D linemen. But if you want to get really adjusted, this is what you got to do. It's called the bleacher blitz for a reason. You blitz Tankersley, and you're going to get guaranteed pressure no matter what. So we're going to let the computer call hike right here. And obviously, Tyreek Hill is actually insane. So I'm going to actually have to adjust because Rashad Jones has no chance right there. But um, we'll show you it right now. And I've done this multiple times. It works versus pro players. And now if you saw the first clip of the video, it worked versus books in the Madden ball. So that's how you know this is, this is a real deal. So you see we do get this guaranteed pressure. The main reason I like to send this bleacher blitz is if usually you do send those two linebackers only. They can't pick it up by double teaming the uh, 
the outside linebacker on the left who happens to be number 47 if you double team him you're able to roll out to the left the running back will pick him up and pick up the linebacker as well so it, this just guarantees they're not allowed to roll out man and it really does help um i wish i had two controllers to show you but you're just gonna have to bear with me um so you do see that pressure just comes in guaranteed but let's let's get into the next clip right now so same thing you move him in blitz all your linebackers nudge him blitz him move him inside if you want make sure everyone's on a good angle you don't really want this angle right here i know this dt gets on an angle sometimes you don't really want that you want him to be right there and last but not least blitz tankers lee and from there just make your adjustments so i'm gonna have to actually man up mccall hardman and just guard tyree kill myself so the pressure gets there so call hike and boom that pressure comes in screaming fast and like I said, if they do double team that guy, either this linebacker will come in screaming through this gap right here, or this cornerback will come off the bleacher blitz. So, you know, that's kind of the base setup. You know, you can run that a lot. A lot of people definitely have ran it a lot. Um, shout out once again, Henry, for that. But here's a setup I really do like, and people don't really run this enough. So I will put this uh, linebacker in a hard flat. So basically I click on him right on the right stick, hard flat, then I'll shade up. Then I'll blitz him right here. And you know, obviously bring your safeties in all the time if you can, if you have enough time. And right here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold, uh, I'm gonna kind of hover in this gap to occupy the guard. And I'm gonna man up my user to the running back. And this way, you are sending six instead of seven and you're gonna get that pressure still. So we're gonna let him call hike and we're just gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna have to make an adjustment. The pressure did come a little slow in right there, but um, I'll show you what happened. It is a bleacher blitz for a reason. So by putting um, Jerome Baker in a hard flat or in a cloud flat, he's basically going to play anything kind of in this area. And you can't put him in a hard flat. You can't man him up. But notice how, you know, Tankersley is still coming in, you know. he's It's, it's a bleacher blitz for a reason. It's going to take a second. But if you have 99 speed there, if you have someone fast, he's going to come in even faster. And for the main majority, they can't really roll out to any side because this guy's this side is contained right here. And this guy if, is going to come in. If they roll out here, they're just going to get sacked. And if you do have a power specialist, this power specialist edge there, whoever you have at DT is going to basically push the pocket to where they can't even step up. So we're going to run it again and we're going to just see the results. So. Same setup, you press, um, blitz all linebackers, blitz uh, the slot corner, move them in a step if you like. Uh, you can blitz Tankersley, your slot uh, outside corner. You can even shade inside a step, so if you do shade inside, notice how he took a step inside. Just gonna make the blitz come in a little faster. I'm gonna hard fly him for the sake of this. I'm gonna man him up right here just in case. You know, I'm just pretty much trying to get the blitz to scream and not let you know any anything that I know would be covered in a real game be open. So we're gonna get it, and boom, that pressure comes in, resulting in a fumble. You know, if your opponent's playing balance, it's gonna happen all game long. Let's take a look at this replay real quick. So I hover in this gap, and notice you're sending six out with guaranteed pressure. So right here, the shot. This does happen a lot. Damian Williams kind of like notices oh there's someone else coming in i gotta pick him up and that's what he exactly does right here resulting in um wilts number 33 to come in unfree or come in untouched come in free and you know the coverage right here is phenomenal everything is covered up rome baker is in a hard flat nothing really nothing really in that area is going to really be open for a quick little drag or whatnot that might be open on a all-out blitz so we're going to run it one more time bleacher blitz shade inside if you like so you notice how he moved in a step and you know you could adjust out of this really phenomenally you can man him up you can put him in a purple uh for this sake i'll just man him up i'll put him in a hard flat again and i'll man up this outside bunch receiver um these are kind of adjustments i like to do uh, quite a bit and i definitely like to catch him but here's one thing to note this is not an every down defense this is a defense you want to mix in on fourth downs third downs in general just any just try to catch him off guard try to catch him like not prepared so what i like to do is i'll just like to you know stay in coverage i like to send the linebackers and then next thing you know they're not expecting that extra heat to be sent so like i said man you can send six 
You can send seven, and you know, the the heat will get there. You just gotta make sure your coverage and your adjustments are right. And then you know what makes this even more better? And my, if you have a lurker somewhere here running around, you can really get glitchy. So we'll we'll run the uh, base setup one more time. You know, purple him, man him up. I'll purple him right here. I'll bring this guy in. Try to bring your safeties as much as you can. Obviously, if you're bleacher blitzing, you don't want to bring this guy in. You kind of want to move him out here and man him up just so they can't really get any cheap free yards. Just think situational. Think smart about it. And uh, for for right now, you know, I'm just going to be on McKill Mc McKillen. And I'm going to just kind of run at the guard and then I'm going to run back and use her. Because this kind of does occupy the guard. We'll see right here. Run at the guard and boom. That pressure comes in free. I hope you guys enjoy this Tip Tuesday. First Tip Tuesday of many Tip Tuesdays. Um, you know, I'm going to be back at it again with the YouTube videos and the daily content. Make sure to leave a like, leave a sub for your boy if you like these type of videos. And I'm asking for a lot, but if you give me 150 likes, I'll drop my complete bunch in any pass defense bag. I have really good adjustments that people really don't notice or people don't really take credit for. Give me those likes and I'll drop a video next Tuesday. How to bag pretty much all the primary passing sets, especially bunch. And last but not least, I did drop my Hot Route Master Bunch ebook. I dropped it about two fr Thursdays ago. Um, I don't remember the exact date, but it is it, it is live and it, it will be on the uh, in the link. So check it out. You know, f check it out. See what you like about it. Go ahead and purchase it if you like. You know, just check it out. Look at it. But that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next video. Much love. Peace out.